we like to drink with Robbie, cause Robbie is our mate. And when we drink with Robbie, he gets it down in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! One! He's had one too many now. But it's his birthday night out. Robbie started on Jack Daniels, now somehow he's drinking stout. Well, the night is young, he's having a great time, and that's what it's about. It all started with the lads. They hadn't seen each other in a while. They congratulate Tom on his new job and take the piss out of Bill's new hairstyle. <laughs> Bill's just lost his mum. He's trying to reinvent himself, and he's got a slight drinking problem, but they don't talk about that. The lads are out on the lash. They're drinking fast, Dan does a final stellar dash, they do a couple of keys so they don't crash, and now they're in the third bar getting absolutely smashed. Tom points to a group of women and screams, yes lads, let's go and pull some gash. The bar is busy, the girls are pretty tipsy, Dan roars with laughter and shouts, can we see some tits please? Of course, the girls don't look too pleased. But Dan prioritises his own social gratification over another human's humiliation. He didn't expect any retaliation to this degradation, and why would there be? He's grown up around his older brothers, seeing women as nothing more than big tits and pussy. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, and now Tom is almost floored by the cocktail of substances, a feeling which encompasses that winning goal United scored. In a state of ecstasy and elation, he makes his way towards a girl at the bar on her own. She's on her phone. She's just trying to go home. But in Tom's attempt at flirtation, he commits a violation, grabbing her below her waist. Then in his slurred dictation, asks if he, she wants to partake in a dick-taking. She pushes him away and slaps him across the face. But not as hard as his stepmom used to. And after all, he probably won't rem remember any of this anyway. And that's why he drinks. He drinks to numb the pain. It's Robbie's birthday night out. He's finishing his stout. He spots the girl on her own. She's just trying to get home. They lock eyes as she sees him checking her out. He bowls over to start the conversation, but her lack of engagement enrages her frustration. Robbie laughs and sees her bare legs as an invitation. He grabs her ass. He knows he's took it too far. But the lads are roaring. The bar sounds like an abattoir. For so long, the lads have called Robbie boring. When, he's good, when is he going to get his score in? To them, he's finally hit the crossbar, got a gold star, made his mark. But little do they know, that girl's going to go home and question her worth, her place on this earth, and why a person can touch her without asking her first. Thank you. Thank you.